Hello again guys. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. This is the latest update concerning Hexabot. Um, there have been some developments. Uh, basically the first thing that I've noticed that nobody can reach Hexabot.top. So basically the whole the whole website is down. Uh, but this is not the thing that I wanted to share with you. This is Basically, there is. Uh, uh, if you don't know about this uh, uh, Telegram group, it's called Hexabot Trading Bot Community, if I can uh, best of, uh, uh, etc. Uh, basically, there are some people who made contact with Hexabot support, so that's a good start at least. Uh, we have this guy Chad Burton. He is very active. He is just one of us. He has nothing to do with Hexabot himself, but he created this uh, Hexabot trading community uh, group on, on Telegram. And he has been trying to reach out to Hexabot support for the last few days. Finally, we managed, they managed to, uh, to get through. So I'm going to show you this first because this is... Um, okay, so you can see here it's forwarded from Hexabot support. You can just check that it is actually Hexabot support by opening this. This is the Hexabot support. So I will show you now the screenshot. So basically, Bitcoin Core did not restore, and wallet data file is just broken with over 3k BTC. Uh, of course, guys, some guys are making fun of it of the <laughs> uh, anyways so this guy asks so will it come back hexabot support if i'm able to solve this this that's not all still um <coughs> okay so he said here if i'm able to solve this and he said uh, then again hexabot support he said that yeah ltc and dash are fine peter and yeah, he even said that it is him. I hope so. Uh, so this guy, Mark Timmerman, asked, really, can we withdraw both? Hexabot support, sure. Um, Bitcoin Core is the problem. Uh, and then this guy, Chad Burton, yeah, he, he's confirming that it's the actual Hexabot support account. Uh, Wallet.dev is just broken. This is from Hexabot. Again, forwarded from Hexabot, someone HTTP flooded the withdrawal URL from different accounts and caused lots of double spends and double transactions. You can't buy it is related to a question that was asked about the um, uh, the site being for sale. Uh, well, if you think so, I don't know what is it related to. That's fine then. Thank you all. Uh, Hexabot support. I can't promise anything about the wallet. That I have been stressing. Uh, then this guy asks, but with application you will have a database, right? Reach out to people who did double withdrawals, and they will still be helpful. Already did. No one responds. Okay, so uh, I have to stop here. Honestly, guys, uh, if any of you who are watching this video managed to make a double withdrawal or a triple or whatever and Peter made contact with you to help him whatever in whatever he needs like by giving back part of the uh, the double withdrawal or whatever you should why because basically it's not your money so it's not fair for other people because honestly if this is true then this guy Peter is not an exit scammer and I'm not saying that he's not of course everyone till now should just uh, believe that it is but there is a 1% chance that he might not be and there is 1% chance that this site might come back and everything is gonna be back to normal again so try to help out if you can um, so yeah I'm just gonna continue and then
I'm gonna comment about this. So uh, basically, he he said that uh, I didn't want them to do the same with LTC and Dash. So basically, this is why he stopped even the withdrawals for LTC and Cash uh, and Dash. And then at the end, just just wait. So again, I'm not saying that um, Hexabot is not a scam. Well, all the signs says they say that it is like a scam. Uh, basically, there is uh, a site has been screwed up for a few days, and nobody's able to withdraw anything, and it's messed up. So this is a typical scam. But here comes the the turning point. If it were a scam, really, why uh, why would he? still making uh, he would still make contact with people why the hexabot support is gonna still be active why would he just not run away with it and just don't give a fuck about anyone else it's it's honestly i'm, I'm confused um i'm hoping for the best but i'm i'm not putting my hopes up i'm not trying to put your hopes up or anything but just just wait guys, maybe till next week. Um, we will see what, what what's gonna happen. Um, but so far, like, till before I see this chat, I was 100% sure that there is no possibility that Hexabot is gonna come back or I'm gonna see any of the money that I have invested there. So, now, Okay, there might be a little chance. Um, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that's the. These are the latest updates concerning Hexabot, guys. Again, wait, and if actually someone from Hexabot reached out to you to help them with something, please do. This might be good for all of us. And honestly, 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 um, if Hexabot comes back. I'm gonna trust this site with my life because if he was an exit scammer he wouldn't come back that's the thing that's the logic if if I took um, 10 million dollars from uh, from something and from a website or I don't know whatever the figure that he actually has why would I bring it back unless something really got messed up so anyways again not trying to put your hopes up just but just let's wait um, for now consider your money gone but just you know keep this one percent chance that it it might come back anyways thank you guys for watching